Hey, Kelly Sparta again for Spirit Sherpa Minis. So this time we're going to talk about source versus symptom. And I'm a little sibilant today. Mm, my speech, <laughs> my speech classes from when I had lost both my front teeth as a child are coming back to me and they're going, no, 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 bring your tongue forward. Okay, so source versus symptom. See, I can do it better. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the difference between those and how do you know when you've gotten to the source, okay? Now, what are we talking about? Let's, let's talk about that to begin with. When we're talking about things like triggers and buttons and stories, right? Now, this is a little further along in your process, right? So if you're still in the early stages, you should not be doing shadow work yet. We know this. If you don't know this, go watch the stages of healing video on the homepage of my website, and it'll explain to you why. But if you are at the shadow work stage, then this is going to be relevant to you. And what you're working on is you're working on identifying what are your stories. And your stories are what cause your triggers, right? Your beliefs and your stories are what cause your triggers. And so the problem is, is that we often think that a story is one thing when in actuality, the foundation of that story is in something completely different. And I'll give you an example. Usually um, people are, when I ask them to tell me their story, they're like, oh, here's the latest thing that happened to me, blah, 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 blah. That is not what I mean when I talk about a story. What I'm talking about with a story is what is the theme that comes back up over and over and over again in your life and that you play out over and over again? What is the thing that's underneath the example that's happening today, right? Um, and so usually what people get confused about is the difference between what the issue is today versus where the, the underlying story is. And so they'll be like, oh, well, this happened and then that happened and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, no, no. That is a symptom of your story. That is not the source of the story. So whatever happened today is the symptom. You, you have generated this experience for you to have again and again and again. And it just looks a little different each time, but the underpinning is basically the same. So when you're looking at a symptom, it'll be something current. And today in your face, whack, 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 making you hurt, right? Now, a, a story, the, the source of the problem is the belief or the story that is causing that. Now, those things can be put together in a single sentence, one sentence that is not long, five words max, right? And, and I do mean five words max. If you've got a story, if you've got a uh, thing that's like 10 lines long, 10 words long even, you're, you're in symptom, not story, okay? So, so beliefs and stories are things like, I'm not good enough. I'm not important. Nobody loves me. I'm unlovable. I am invisible. I, I'm in danger if I'm not invisible right? I mean, that's a little longer one. You know, I have to be invisible to be safe, right? Or invisibility is safety. That one would be the core story there, right? And you notice I just keep compressing it, compressing it, compressing it, right? Because core stories are very short, okay? So I want you to, to keep that in mind as you're identifying your stories and your beliefs for your shadow work, okay? And that's what I've got for you this week. Uh, if you want to learn more about those stages of healing that I referred you to before or about shadow work and what it means and what stories are and how they relate and, you know, all the different pieces and parts of your healing process, check out my book, The Overachiever's Guide to Nailing Your Spiritual Growth in, in Record Time Without Turning Over Your Power, uh, Quitting Your Job, or Joining a Cult. Yes, I have a little bit of a sense of humor, as does the book, which is good because it's got a lot of info in it and humor is good. So anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, you'll find a link to everything you need in the show notes and uh, in the description here. And we will talk to you next time.